Well, hi folks, I'm just going to show you, I'll try and make a, a recorder come flute out of a carrot. So we'll get on with it. So I've got a carrot. I'm not going to use the whole length because it'd be too long because I need to drill it out. So I'm just going to chop a bit off. And I can use the, the other part, the part of the flute. So I've got a carrot there, about what, six inches long, part of a carrot. And I'm just going to drill it out using a one of these wood bits. Now, ideally, you'd use a a cordless drill but you can actually do it by hand slowly but just make sure you don't go right through the side of the carrot so this might take a while it'd be a lot quicker with a like I said with a, a cordless drill so I'm nearly up to the length of my drill bit now so I can't go much further thing is not to go right through and leave a hole in that end, keep it closed. So go as far as you can towards the end. And just drill it out, bore it out. Like so. Get all the rubbish out. You can what you can rinse it under the sink. Now what I'm gonna do is make a little cut. So I just go basically so when I look inside it'll look like that here so about an inch away well maybe two inches away oh sorry about an inch away inch and a half away from the start just going to cut through so I'll just go through to the inside I'll have a look not quite through yet now it's dropping to bits so I'm through a little bit there just to there that far and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go at, at an angle and make a slit I'll do it in a few passes just do it carefully, take a little notch out in slices until you get to the inside like that and that forms your little little hole. I'll just do one more, just try and get it a little bit slightly bigger. So that should be okay. And now what you need to do is block the end up, this end up, and put a little hole in it. So I'm going to use the end of the discarded carrot so it needs to be about that long just measure it and basically you just need to sort of whittle your carrot down to form a plug so it fits in the end so it probably take a, a few little attempts before you get it bang on so I just need to make that a little bit narrower just so that it fits in snugly. So I'll just carve a little bit more off. I think that should be about right, that should fit. So that's the plug but what you need to do is make a little flat side on the top there so you can actually blow some air through. So I'm just going to take a little slice off this about a sixth of the way in. Just take a little flat section out like so, so it's shaped like that. So we'll put that in and see if this one works. Hopefully this should work, that's a lot tighter fit. Give it a little bit of a blow. So that works. So now what you can do is, you can put a few, just a couple, obviously in this it's not long enough to put a load of holes in. But I've just got a small drill bit there. I'm just going to put just a couple of holes in like that you can do it by hand there's probably some scientific way of doing it so you can get the tone right and stuff like that for, to form different notes but hopefully that sh this should work might be able to get some different notes we'll see it might not work at all it's not exactly fantastic is it we'll put another one in it'll either ruin it or make it a little bit better we'll see in fact, why not? Let's put four in and really break it. So we've got four little holes there. Will it make any difference at all? I've only got three fingers, haven't I? Well, there you go. I'll just put camera on. See me ugly mug. Here we go. A four holed little doofus.
So there you go folks, how to make a dead simple little carrot flute, carrot whistle, just using a carrot and a knife. See you later.